shark alarm going off at Lighthouse Beach. Plenty of people in the surf still. And plenty of sharks we've seen jumping just here at the river mouth in the last few minutes as well. So the ocean is absolutely alive today. And we'll just see if anyone's actually going to get out of the surf. <laughs> You can hear that, he's saying bull shark, bull shark. Basically as the tide was going out and the mullet run um, that this takes place this time of the year, um, put ample um, mullet into the mouth of the river, um, the, a, a, a huge amount of um, bull sharks, juvenile bull sharks from about 1.2 to 1.7, 1.9 metres uh, formed in the front, in the mouth of the river, which something, it's an anomaly, it doesn't normally happen like that. And the helicopter saw them, uh, local uh, duty officers saw them, and uh, they tried to get the surfers out of the water. And what happened then? Uh, the surfers decided that um, they didn't want to get out of the water. Um, there were about 70, 80 surfers that on North Wall there's a special break that doesn't happen very often and it was about 50 to 100 metres away from where the sharks were and because it was, you know, the surf was pumping as they would say, um, they decided to stay. Um, we made a decision with DPI and police and council to close the beach, just Lighthouse Beach, um, for a set period of time, it was about three hours to see what would happen um, and as the surfers still stayed out there uh, we decided to uh, deploy two IRBs in the jet boat, hoping that would help uh, encourage the surfers to leave. And there were about 70, 80 surfers, so there was you know, a lot of them. And um, when they wouldn't move, we, uh, the IRBs and jet boat just uh, went be stayed behind them and, and sort of kept a barrier between the sharks and the uh, surfers until um, the sharks dispersed about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So what did you make of that decision by those surfers to stay in the water even though there were clear warnings? Um, look, um, you, people have got to understand that Balna is get, becoming more and more famous for its uh, surfing breaks. We've got um, not numerous beaches and there's always something happening. This break doesn't happen very often. Um, there, there is a wall between where the sharks were and um, and the uh, surfers. However, uh, the surfers really, because the mouth of the river was, you know, is only 50, 100 metres behind them. Um, it's one of those things. Uh, so, um, I, I, first of all, I said they were, you know, uh, putting other people's lives at risk. But it, in the end, um, the volunteers came and got in the IRB and uh, IRBs and the jet boat and just protected them and, until the tide changed and the um, and the the mullet stopped coming out and, and the sharks dispersed. So it's one of those things that doesn't happen very often. It looks like something out of a movie, to be honest, when you see the footage and above and see all these sharks. Are feeding. It wasn't a feeding frenzy at that stage, but um, these, are, these young bull sharks aren't afraid of anything. So it, it, wasn't, it was immensely dangerous, but because of the assets were there in the water um, and the surfers didn't want to get out, um, we protected them, all the surf... Uh, uh, surf patrol members uh, protect them as best as possible. You going to send them a bill? Um, no, because it's all volunteer. Um, look, that's, look, we've we've been the centre of you know, shark attacks for quite a while, and we've had a break. Uh, you know, since 2015, it's been horrendous for a while, and then it's had a break. This is something that happens. Uh, we've got a protocols in place. The beach just closed. We uh, we thought they might come out, or we hoped they would come out, but the the patrol you know, made the decision to put the craft in the water and, and that's about as much as you can do. There's no other major police craft or DPI craft close by, so um, 
the, the surf club volunteers, and they were volunteers on a public holiday, I must admit, um, went and gave up their time to so the surfers could continue to surf. Mm. And so are you comfortable with that's how it's going to be from now on? Every time there's something like this that happens, you yeah. warn surfers to get out, they don't get out because it's a great break. And uh, so uh, the volunteers sit there as a barrier between sharks and surfers to protect them? No, look, I'm not happy. I'm just where I'm standing at Lighthouse Beach at the moment, just to my south, the, the, the break's on again today. And... Um, there's about 40 to 50 surfers in the water and uh, we've got whales breaching and things like that. So the conditions have changed and whether they didn't fully believe anything, maybe, you know, the surf was a bit pounding, so they mightn't have heard everything, but there would have been enough people going in and out of the water to let the surfers know. So hopefully a bit more education and, and it is at a time of the year when the beaches aren't being patrolled during winter. However, we did have all the assets in place very, very quickly. Yeah. And so there's been a lot of discussion there in your region, David, about shark attacks with a trial of nets and, and aerial monitoring. What's the setup there at the moment? Well, during summer and the school holidays, uh, the helicopter goes up and down the coast and it goes twice a day. Uh, we've also, especially during um, the summer period, we've got lifeguards on, all, on our beaches. We've got the best drone coverage of any place in the world, virtually. Um, and we have drones that can drop rescue packages and, and keep warnings. And, and basically the visitors that are in the water, in the surfing areas, in, in the swimming areas, that, that they heed the warnings, they get straight out. And usually the protocol is, is as soon as the shark goes, they can go back in the water and it might only be half an hour. But these, these are fair dinkum hardcore surfers and they're there today and it's not a public holiday. And, and that, that's a different kettle of fish. We had a, a bite, um, uh, from Wobbegong at Lennox Point last week and we closed all our beaches for 24 hours. But I, I drove around and the surfers were still at Lennox Point surfing even though there'd been um, an attack. So um, that's just what happens and, and uh, I suppose that's part of the, the surfing story. You know, they, uh, the, the, the wave is more important than a lot of things and, yeah. and hopefully we can make the two work. Yep. And so that chopper, yes, so you mentioned you have a chopper that goes up and down d during the season, yep. but uh, that, where, where was that chopper from yesterday? Uh, that, that, that's the DPI helicopter, um, but because yesterday was a public holiday. Oh, right. um, and it flies most weekends as well. So that, but it was the, our duty officers had already seen it. They, we, we ended up putting a drone up and that, but you could stand on the wall and see the sharks. It's, it wasn't too hard to see them. So, um, uh, you know, it, it, it was I, I, honestly when you see the footage, uh, I've never seen anything like that here at Balna, um, and having that many sh bull sharks right in the mouth. Yeah, and so how does that how does that make you feel about the uh, the, the safety of, of that beach there if you've got that that kind of number? Well. Well, there's always sharks around, we know that. We've got the VR4G listening stations pick up the tag sharks and there's over, um, there's, there's over 400 sharks being tagged now. And, uh, but none of these were sh sharks that had been tagged, so they're all uh, juveniles. Um, it's just one of those things you've got to deal with. It, it surprised, this would be happening up and down the coast. It's just a, but we, we have so many people going new marine rescue tower right beside it and they can see everything that's happening in the mouth of the river and the mullet they are catching up to 15 ton a day and netting just at in the mouth of the river a little beach there and that's just part of the normal thing that goes on uh, for a short period of time each year so everything just worked the, we'd had rain the the, the uh, fresh water was going out into the ocean and these sharks, I don't know where they came from and I don't know where they've gone to but <laughs> it, it, this hasn't really happened but we do have a lot of assets. We have a lot of people that watch out and, and we've got a protocol where DPI police and Surf Life Saving and Council got together very, very quickly and we made a decision to try to shut the, the, the beach, or we yeah. did shut it, Then no one else was in the water except these surfers. Yeah. OK, David, uh, thanks so much for talking to us from a beautiful part of the world and, yeah, good, good luck with managing that ongoing situation there. Yeah. It is an ongoing situation, but we live in paradise and sometimes <laughs> you've got to make concessions. I just wish they'd make it, it made it a bit easier for the people who put their lives at risk to yeah. keep them safe. Yeah.